they're structurally they're stable, but they're just very dirty because of um, grime and candle smoke and incense, things like that, and just the varnish discolors with age. So years and multiple layers of that um, make the, the, the image get very dark and you can't appreciate it. So we are cleaning them so that um, you can actually see the image and appreciate the paintings. I think there's two really great things about these paintings, this set of paintings, is that they are very well done. They're very nicely painted images, even though they're horrific images. Um, and I think that this is a really good example of what a good conservation treatment can do to reveal the original paintings and um, give a better appreciation of that. The cathedral or the basilica is just a gorgeous building, and if they were so dark that it was difficult to see the details of the painting in addition to really identifying the scenes. They were very dark and hung high, so it, we're, what we're doing is we're covering the original colors, and I hope that it will bring more meaning to the people who use them. It's been a nice, rewarding project really very rewarding. They're um, nicely painted and um, we're bringing them back so that that shows through. I am currently in painting um, this painting after it has been cleaned and any repairs that were going to be made were made and now we're just in painting anything that is lost or abraded in some way and any damages. That's the final step of conservation, is the end painting. This one did not have a lot of damage, and I'm actually almost finished, but um, this one mostly had damages along the edges. Um, this most I did mostly in the sky, and the top edge were probably the worst. Jesus was luckily in good condition. To be working on something that has so much importance to Baltimore and, and to Baltimore's history, they're great images, and. Now that they're cleaned up, they, I, they are much more inspirational in a, in a way that they weren't before when they were hidden by the dirt and discolored varnish. I mean, they're, they're meant to be a devotional image, and now you'll actually be able to see what's going on in the images, so I think they'll give the congregation a connection to the service in a way that they may not have as much before, just because you couldn't really see what was going on. In the process of it, what I'm noticing is um, all the details, like this, this man here, and the way he's just being so cruel to Jesus. It, it's, it's something that's really um, opening my mind to the whole passion. And so I think even beyond just uh, restoring a painting, it's, it's, it's enhancing um, our understanding. So I think it's, I'm you know, very glad that they decided to do it. <laughs> It's um, really made me appreciate what he went through for us even more than um, I ever did before. So it's, it's, been, it's been personally very fulfilling to, to do this.